Welcome back art students. In today's lesson, we will create a hot air balloon. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need chalk pastels, circle stencil or the top of a bowl or a lid, pencil, eraser, and black sharpie marker. Okay, let's get started. We are going to first start with our circle stencil. Now remember, if you don't have a circle stencil, you can use a bowl by flipping it upside down and tracing around the outside or a lid, but you do need a fairly large circle. Um, okay, so to trace our circle, we're going to start with a pencil. One hand will need to hold down your stencil, your helper hand, and the other hand will trace right around the edge. You might have to lift up your pencil to go around your hand. So starting at the top, I'm going to place my circle stencil right in the middle, close to the top. Helper hand's holding down my stencil. I'm going to trace right around my circle stencil. Great. Okay, next we are going to round out the shape of our circle into the shape of our, of our hot air balloon. And to do this, we're going to make a straight line. Find the center of your circle and you're going to make a straight line underneath like this. Now you're going to connect this line to your hot air balloon. Now I'm not going straight up. I'm going to go to the side of the hot air balloon. Okay, so just to the side. And then again on the other side, touching just the tip of the line, I'm going to go right up to my balloon. Okay, now we're going to use our eraser for this line here. We don't need this line. Push off all your eraser bits. Looks like I accidentally erased this line here, so I'm going to connect that line. Okay. All right. So we have this is the top. The top of the hot air balloon is called the envelope, and down here is the burner. This is where the fire is set in the hot air balloon. And we're going to make just a tiny little round opening here. So we have the bottom straight line. Now we're going to make a curved line that goes up and down, okay? Up and down. This is where the burner is. This is where the fire goes into the hot air balloon. The pilot lights it and that hot air fills the envelope and then we'll lift our basket off of the ground. Okay, so now for our basket, you're going to make a little space right underneath this line here, not too close. Your basket will hang um, far, far from the, the burner. You don't want to be too close to the burner, it's hot. So I have some nice space between my burner and where my basket's going to be. But it's also not hanging off my paper. Okay, so we have the top of our basket line and then I'm going to make just a little bit of a shorter line underneath. Now I'm going to connect my top bottom line to my top line. Okay. Now we're going to connect our hot air balloon by ropes. Ropes hold the basket to the hot air balloon. So touching the side of your hot air balloon, 
going to make a straight line down to our basket and stop. Straight line down to our basket and stop. Now at the very corner of our basket, we are going to make a straight line up to the balloon envelope. So from the tip up to the envelope. The other side now, tip of the basket, all the way up to the envelope. All right. Now go ahead and find your Sharpie marker. We're going to trace all the way around our envelope. Now remember, we have that erase line here. Don't go on the inside of your hot air balloon. We're going to go on the outside. Let's start actually at the bottom so that doesn't happen. So do you remember that you have the envelope, the burner, and the basket? Let's start with the burner where the fire comes out. And let's trace that line first. And the little opening where the burner is. And now up the sides, the hot air balloon, all the way around. Do you need to pick up your marker to go all the way around? Go ahead and do that all the way around and I'm going to come right down the side of my hot air balloon. If I if you accidentally went on the rope, it's okay. We're going to trace that too. Okay, so here's my hot air balloon. And now I'm going to trace my basket. The top of my basket. Straight line. Sides. And the bottom of my basket. Now we're going to give our basket some, it's a wicker basket. We're going to make straight lines, space out those lines, have, have a space between each line. And I'm gonna go all the way across, both sides. Now, I've made my straight lines down, and now I'm going to make straight lines that go across. There, now I have a wicker basket. Let's connect our basket to a hot air, our hot air balloon now. Okay, so touching the top, I'm sorry, the bottom of our hot air balloon, let's connect those two short lines. Okay, and now the two long lines that go up to the envelope of the hot air balloon. It's one. Two. All right. So hot air balloons um, usually have lots of ridges in them. You see them here in this hot air balloon, but you really can decorate your hot air balloon any way you like. Um, for this hot air balloon, we're going to make those ridges, but you can fill in your colors in any way you like, or maybe make a design inside yours. Okay, so find the center of your hot air balloon, the very top. And you're going to draw a straight line from the top all the way down to the burner. Okay, the top all the way down to the burner and stop. Now my hot air balloon is round, so I'm going to make these lines sort of rounded. So starting at the burner, I'm going to go up and out a little bit, and then I'm gonna come right back to the top. From the burner line, up, out, and right back. Do you see how this is straight? And this kind of swoops out. Up, out, and swoop in. Okay, and the same with this one. I'm gonna swoop this line out too, so it looks rounded. I'm going to swoop it out and bring it back in. Again here on the other side, 
swoop it out and bring it back in. Okay, now we're going to draw a line from one side all the way to the other. We're going to do two, one, two. Let's do the top line first. So touching one side of the hot air balloon, we're gonna swoop it down and then back up. Now the bottom one, down and back up. I'm sort of tracing that top line. Now we can give our hot air balloon some fun little loop-de-loos here underneath. Now for this, I'm just in each of these little sections, I'm gonna go down and up, down and up, a little curved line all the way across. Okay. And the last thing we're going to draw are two nice little rolling hills at the bottom of our piece of art. And to do this, we're going to start on the side. We're going to make a rounded line up and then we're going to bring it down a nice gentle slope. So starting at the side of the page, up, Bring it down all the way off the page. Other side, touching the side of the page, swooping line down. Looks like our hot air balloon is flying above maybe a valley or hills. Okay, go ahead and cap up your marker. And now we get to shade in our hot air balloon. Now I have chosen uh, just three colors, pink, orange, and turquoise, but you really want to take your time and jazz it up and make it very bright and colorful. You can color each section a different color, maybe rainbow. It's totally up to you. Okay, if we're um, going to be using three colors, we'll start on the left-hand side, and I'm going to shade this whole section pink except for those fun little uh, loops. Okay, so um, oil, or chalk pastels sometimes can be a little bit dirty because we store them in the same place and your hands get kind of chalky. So you have to be careful not to put your hands in places um, all over your page because you get a little, you get a few smudges. Um, you can take a piece of paper and kind of rub off any marks that there's a little brown mark there that you might have gotten on your piece of paper or your oil pastel when you put it in its box. You're going to use the side. This is the top and we're going to use the side. And you're just going to shade in all around. We will be doing our blending at the very end. So I'm going to make a pattern. I'm going to go pink, orange, pink, orange, pink, orange. So I've just done pink, now orange. I don't have to worry about getting in every little white spot because when I use my finger to blend, it will softly shade in that spot that I did not fill in. The lighter you press, the lighter your colors will be. If you press really dark, you'll get darker colors. Pink, orange, pink. Pink, orange, pink, orange.
last section, orange. I'm trying to stay right inside my shape. Okay, now I've done my stripes. Now I'm going to shade in my little loops down here. Now this space is a little smaller, so I'm gonna to have to go a little slower to keep my oil pastel in control. And I'm using just the side now, just the side kind of corner. I'm not pressing it down on its, laying it on, it's on its side, I'm just using just the corner of the side. Okay, all right. Now for our basket, go ahead and shade in your basket. I'm going to use orange for this basket. But brown or black works nice too for your wicker basket. Okay, and now we're going to shade in our green hills. And for this, since we're using, um, you can, it's sort of a, a bigger piece. You can use the side. I'm gonna lay it down so it rests on the table. I'm going to push the side. Right in that shape. There's one hill, and I'll put it on that side again, and then just push that color. For the other side. Okay, now we get to make our clouds and our sky. To make your clouds and sky, I chose a blue sky day and our clouds are white and you can add as many clouds as you like to your piece of art, but we're going to spread them out so they're not all clumped together in one spot. Let's see, let's start maybe at the bottom. The bottom right, to make your clouds, some of our clouds will be in our picture and some will sort of be kind of floating off to the side. So to make our clouds, you're going to make one straight line. And I used the tip of my chalk pastel. And then I'm going to start small and go bigger and bigger and bigger, making curved lines up. Okay, let's do another one here. This one will maybe go right behind our hot air balloon. So let's make a straight line right through those Sharpie lines. And for this one, we'll come up and maybe we'll come down. Now, if you get to your hot air balloon, don't draw through your hot air balloon. This cloud is going to be going behind your hot air balloon. So curve line up. Now I'm gonna come down, oh, stop and then make it down, okay? Let's see, I think I'll add five clouds today. I have two. Let's do another one, maybe on the side here. Right off the page, three. Straight line. Curve lines up. And maybe one more at the very corner. Okay, now we're going to use the side of our chalk pastel and we're going to carefully shade in around our clouds. We wanna keep our clouds white. So you're going to lay it on its side and you're just going to push your chalk pastel gently. I don't have to get too close because you don't have that much control with your chalk pastel, but when you use your blending tool, remember your finger works so well as a blending tool, you can go in um, and make a little closer smudge mark. So I'm just gonna gently go around using the side. Being careful not to go into my white clouds. 
underneath my basket. Okay, that looks pretty good. We are finished with our with our chalk pastels. Now we get to blend our chalk pastels now. So if you are switching colors, you want to make sure that you're not using the same finger unless you've given it a little wipe. Now I have a little paper towel or a wet wipe and you can take your wet wipe and really get your finger clean before you move on to your next color, like rinsing your paintbrush. If you don't wipe your finger or use a different finger, it's going to look a little muddy. Okay, so starting at the top, using your blending tool, your finger, we're going to carefully go around our clouds. And I'm pressing pretty hard around my clouds. I wanna keep the shape of my clouds. Get right up next to your hot air balloon. Now I can make those rounded lines around my clouds now. And you're going to shade in all of the blue space, the background behind your hot air balloon. When you get close to your clouds, you can make those rounded lines keep our clouds nice and white. I've got a lot of space, white space here around my hot air balloon. I want to make sure that that is blue. So get your finger right up next to that hot air balloon and smudge in all that blue. Okay, pretty good job with the blue background. The sky looks great. Now I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm gonna wipe my finger. Pretty clean. And now I have a pattern here. So I'm going to do all my pink and then I'm going to rinse my finger. So starting with your color on the left. I'm going to do all of my rubbing of that color right now so I don't have to keep wiping my finger. I'm being really careful not to get going too fast and accidentally take my finger outside of the hot air balloon because that then we're going to get our colors mixed up. Okay, one more pink. Okay, and I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm going to give my finger a, a wipe, get the pink off, pretty good. Now the orange. Sometimes when you're rubbing, you get, you can see some of the chalk kind of being pushed off to the side so you can blow on it to get those extra pieces off or you can tap it off the table, kind of pick up your piece of paper and I think a, just a blow works too.
Okay, our last color in our hot air balloon. Rinse your finger. And this is a really small piece, so you might even decide, I think I'm gonna use my smallest finger. To blend that small space. A Q-tip also works really well when you are blending small spaces. Do you know that a hot air balloon does not have a steering wheel? It's kind of crazy to think about. The pilot has to be really careful by watching the weather report, keep an eye on the wind so he knows what the weather is going to be like that day. And if the hot air balloon starts to go in the direction he doesn't want to, he'll turn off the burner to let some of the hot air out and in to control where it's going. But there is no steering wheel inside of a hot air balloon. Pretty crazy. All right, now let's blend our last part, and that's our hill. Rinse your finger before. Nice rolly hill. All right. And there you have your very own hot air balloon. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Bye.